I can't believe what I'm about to say. Kevin Jenkins has made the Bears roster. It's Sports Talk Chicago here with John's Glow. In this video, we're going to break down why he made it, how it happened, and what it means for his future with the Bears. Before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, and set up notifications on this channel so you don't miss a thing. We have interviews with former Bears players and commentaries on the Bears, Blackhawks, Cubs, White Sox, and Bulls. If you want to find me on my social media links, videos, podcasts, and interviews, head on over to sportstalkchicago.com. I want to start today with this. It ain't over till it's over. <laughs> we were fed so many rumors and news bites about Kevin Jenkins. He was immature. He wasn't adjusting to the new coaching. There were issues with Matt Eberflus, Luke Getze, and him. He was continuously hurt. He wasn't practicing. He was being disobedient. We heard everything, every rumor imaginable. We thought at one point a couple of weeks ago he was going to be traded. Then yesterday, we heard it again. Yeah, Tevin Jenkins is on the trade block. Yet as we sit here today, Kevin Jenkins is going to be your starting right guard. That, to me, is the shock of the preseason and training camp. Turns out the Bears have cut Michael Schofield, who they brought in to compete with Jenkins. Signed him to a one-year deal as a free agent. He's cut. It will be Tevin Jenkins at right guard for the Bears this season. Across two preseason games, Jenkins allowed only one pressure on the quarterback. He also showcased his athleticism and power in the run game. Insiders still insisted, which is true, that trades were possible involving Jenkins, the Bears, and another team. I don't even know how to describe this. I haven't seen anything like this surrounding the Bears recently, even in recent memory. I did call for Jenkins to be traded. Not just because of the rumors, whether or not they were true, but because he's still a high pick and the Bears probably could have gotten something significant back for him. That's the only reason I was okay with it. Young guy. Second year in football, you could trade him and flip him for something pretty significant that could help you out either today or down the road. Maybe a draft pick, maybe a different offensive lineman, maybe a wide receiver. So I thought, you know what, let's entertain the idea. But I will say, at this point, it's finalized. Kevin Jenkins will be a bear, and he will start on the offensive line for this team come this season. I don't know why the Bears and Jenkins have so many issues. Even says in this article by Eric Lambert, quote, nobody knows why the Bears demoted him. There were rumors of personality issues. He and the offensive line coach Chris Morgan were having problems. We don't know why. We don't know how this entire saga even began. It might have been something stupid. It might have been the Bears' fault. Or Jenkins, we don't know. What we've been fed is that it's a Tevin Jenkins issue. Yet, they kept it. So whatever the issue is, it's either been resolved or it's not a big enough issue the result in a trade or wanting to get rid of him. Tell you, I've never seen anything like this, where he goes from a consensus starter to being demoted to missing practice, then coming back at a brand new position, competing with somebody else, then winning. Like job trade rumors, and now he's on the team. I've never heard of that. And the twists and turns that we've seen with this story in the past four weeks, have been mind-blowing to me. I've never heard of this with anybody, not even an offensive lineman. So I don't know what to make of Kevin Jenkins and his viability on this Bears O-line. What I do know is this. He played pretty well in the preseason. He has a lot to prove. Second year, first full year, no more injuries, no more issues. It's time to perform, time to prove yourself. And I wish him all the best for his career in general and his time with the Bears. But I don't understand what happened with him and the Bears behind the scenes. I have no clue. I wish I knew. I wish I had inside access to find out. But whatever it is, 
it seems to be resolved for now. Or at least it's gotten to a point where it's not worth trading him because of it. See, that's the other thing that no one's talking about. Maybe it's been resolved. Maybe it's all about performance. Or maybe the issue still persists. But it's not severe to a point where the Bears need to get rid of him, where they need to offload him for some reason. I don't know what the problem is. But I do know that he played pretty well, preseason well. And to his credit, he did beat out a pretty good competitor. Michael Schofield is a Super Bowl champion. Local guy, been around the NFL for 10 years, and I liked the signing in the beginning. Schofield, pretty darn reliable for the most part. Plays 85-9% of snaps the past couple of years. Experienced. Local guy. I liked it. Thought it would have been a great move for the Bears, and it seemed to be at first. Have a veteran come in, compete with Tevin Jenkins, make him earn his spot. He is not a Ryan Poles draft pick, and he was hurt, and now there are problems, potentially, with the coaching staff and Poles and Jenkins. Yeah, he's going to have to compete. But the fact is, it's a meritocracy, and Jenkins won. So, he's going to start. Again, I would have been okay with the Bears trading him. I would not have been mad. In fact, I would have been pretty happy. Because if these problems persisted, you don't want someone like that on your team. Even if it really wasn't Tevin Jenkins' fault, the point is, if he doesn't fit in to your system, to your culture, to your team, even if he's good, trade him. Bring in somebody else who will conform. And in the meantime, get some draft picks back or get something of significance back. I would have been okay with it. And my feelings right now about Jenkins are pretty mixed. I'll be honest. I'm not overly thrilled he's back, but I'm also not calling for him to be traded. We're going to have to see how he does down the regular season. But I'll trust the Bears' judgment on this. Matt Eberflus, obviously, like what he saw, enough to keep it. Same with Ryan Falls. This is their roster. This is who they want starting at right guard. Scouts like Greg Gabriel, Olin Krutz have said it too on this program that he's the best offensive lineman the Bears have. Maybe he is. Time will tell. But I do know that he won the competition. That's all I can say on the matter. He won fair and square. I mean, the Bears did everything they could to prove and to show that maybe he doesn't deserve to be here, and he proved it. Proved them wrong, proved all of us wrong. So I have no issue with that. I have no issue with him staying. He won a fair competition. That's all you could say. He won a fair competition for the job. He beat out a local kid, 10-year veteran, Super Bowl champion, to retain a spot. Not even his original spot, a spot on the offensive line. And to me, that is pretty significant. Say what you want about personality or issues behind the scenes. The fact is... He got his act together in time and made the team and won the competition. I don't know what issues he has. I don't know what the problem is. But I do know that whatever it was, it's not as prevalent now because he bucked up, manned up, and won the competition. And it may sound pretty simple. Okay, he won a competition, but the fact is he did win at Barron Square. He is the best at his position, at least in the Bears' eyes, and that's why they kept him. So we have to trust their judgment for now. I wish Jenkins the best. I want him to succeed. And maybe he will, and this would be a great redemption story on his part, and if he does do well, a stupid look for Matt Eberflus and Ryan Pauls, to be honest. It's going to be a stupid look for them. The fact that they wanted to cut him, wanted to train him, demoted him. So, either way, somebody's going to look bad here <laughs> the end of the year. Either going to be Jenkins for sucking or the Bears for wanting to cut him when Jenkins succeeds. One of the two. I'm curious to see how it plays out, but I do know this. As of right now, Jenkins is the guy. The Bears believe it. Media and fans, to an extent, believe it. And now Jenkins gets his shot to really prove himself come this season. So congrats to him and hopefully he stays part.